welcome to happy painting what a beautiful day it is the birds are singing the sun is shining so we're going to have a lot of fun today and i hope you're painting along with me this is my little friend my friend little squirt my sidekick yes my little buddy sometimes he helps and sometimes he doesn't but we'll see we have i have a 16 by 20 stretched canvas it's primed. I have liquid white on it, so it's wet and it's ready to go. And this is our mystery painting. I'm not going to tell you right away what it is. But we'll put it in our sky first. That's the easy part. This is the brush I put the liquid white on with. So I'll just I'll just tap that into my phalo blue. Phalo blue. Okay, so we know that's going to be sky. Uh, look out for blue, though. Yeah, it takes everything over. So I am going to take my paper towel and wipe some of that blue off the brush. Oh, and, oh, see, oh, blue. Wicked color. Just covers everything. Blue will not only cover your canvas, but it will follow you home after class. I'll throw a little down there, too. Okay. Oh, that, may, that might be enough of that. Um, I'm going to tap my brush into some Prussian blue. Prussian blue is just a little cooler and a little darker. Wipe that brush off. I don't want a big surprises yet. See? Okay. And maybe just get a little of that on the canvas. I just want a little color on the canvas for now. We'll get a little of that down here. Ooh. Well, that blue. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, 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 blue. blue. Uh, we'll just put a little down there. Put a little down here. So, squirts full of the dickens today, boy. I've got some lavender mixed up. This is alizarin crimson and Prussian blue. A lot more alizarin than blue. And you'll, and you'll get a nice lavender. Let's wipe the brush off, though. And we'll put the lavender up in the corners. Up in the corners. Right, Squirt? What do you think? Is that okay? A little, little here, a little there, and and uh, down, down below. I'll put some down here, and then we'll then we'll go in and mix it up. The first thing I do is get my canvas covered with paint. This is this is oil-based paint. We use odorless thinner clean the brushes with. Not my favorite job, but comes with the territory. Oh, I'll put a little more blue over here. Okay, now let's see. I'll give this a nice, a few nice long strokes. Kind of call that done. Now, we're going to have to blend the top, blend the sky. Right, Squirt? Is that your favorite thing? He says, oh yes, I can get in trouble now. I've got a clean, dry brush. I'm going to come into the blue. This is my X stroke. And then I'll come down into the white. And then I'll go take some blue and bring it down into the white. And take some blue and bring it in. So what I'd like is the center, the center of my horizon to be nice and light. That was part of the plan. So lots of little X strokes. And we'll get this sky blended okay so you probably guessed by now well sky we know we have sky and down there you probably guessed that that's going to be water well i don't think it is i think it's going to be something else today see something else this oh is a new twist okay well that's that's, that's pretty blended i think i'll switch i'm going to pick up my blender brush and give that sky a last little, you know, little circles, no pressure. It takes out all those last little brush strokes. And I kind of like, I kind of like the way that turned out. And, then, and we did that really fast. And we'll just get rid of those last little brush strokes. So it's phalo blue, Prussian blue, and lavender. Ooh. Make some little mystery clouds in there. Okay, and well, we'll get this kind of soft in here. We'll leave streaks down there. I want those streaks. I like those streaks. So, I guess we're going to go from there. And we need some little faraway trees. Okay, so we'll call it a landscape. Now you know. 
um, some faraway trees. This is my filbert brush. I love this brush. You hear me say that all the time. I can't help it. I love this brush. I, I've got my lavender. A lizard crimson and Prussian blue. And I took a little of it aside and I put some white in it. So what I really have here is lavender with white in it. That's a nice light. My faraway trees. We don't want them to be too dark. You know, those are the faraway guys. And they're going to be big. This is a forest. Okay, so let's start up there and just kind of drag that thing. Drag that down. Drag that down. Okay, so let's get some more paint and do a few more of those guys. Uh, there might be another one right here. Okay. There's no need to be fussy. I'm not fussy. I just put them in. And I don't even fuss with making them perfect. Did I ever tell you the part about perfect doesn't count? Well, it's true in painting. Perfect does not count. Perfect we don't have to be. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Crooked. Crooked's good. Straight would be kind of well, maybe too boring if they were all straight. Okay, we've done these kind of trees before. This is easy. You can do this. Well, before I drop another one in there, maybe I ought to switch to a small fan brush and put myself in a little far away baby pine tree. I was thinking of that. So I've got my light lavender on this on the small fan. And I'll come right in here and maybe there's a little far away, little far away pine tree lives in here. So this is lavender and white. This is my small fan brush. I make the whole tree with the corner of the fan brush. Just tap it into the canvas. And going to the left and tapping in and going to the right. Need more paint though. It does does you have to have paint on the brush or nothing happens not that I haven't tried believe me okay so we'll just kind of I don't know where that's going to live maybe somewhere down there I, I do think it needs a fate it needs a little friend though huh would another one more little friend squirt you wouldn't want to be up there no friends no oh squirt so what do you say huh so is it your nap time or what Squirt's my buddy. He comes to all my classes. He talks like the Dickens. Makes everybody laugh. We have a wonderful time. He won't talk on camera. We've already figured that out. I, I think it uh, has something to do with not having a union card. I don't know. But I, I just think I'll just kind of make believe there's a big one back here. Okay. We don't care. It's far away. We don't care. Far away. Let's see. Do anything else I want to do before I leave? Oh, 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 I just, maybe just one more. Right there. These little pine trees are so easy to do. I have my own little technique. I go in with the corner of the fan brush and I kind of push up. That's my own little thing. And then you, I've seen you can make them by the push down. We call those the downies. I call these the uppies. Just the uppies and the downies. And I've also seen these little pine trees made about a hundred different ways. And they always look good. So you can try my style or you can develop your own. Pine trees are fun to make and I know you can do that. I'm, I'm, I've got a dry one inch brush and I'm just tapping straight into the canvas. Because these are my far away trees and I kind of want them to, you know, we don't want to see them too much. So now that they're there, we'll make them go away. <laughs> yes, that was for practice. Just tap straight in. Back here, I can just kind of just tap around. They look like little faraway bushes and things happened in there. Right, Squirt? Yeah, right, Squirt? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that, that's pretty good. Yeah, you're going to tell me when to stop, Squirt? I think I'll, I'm gonna, let me take a little of that lavender and get my little bushy thing in here happen. I would like that. A little far away bushy thing right there. Are you going to be chitty chatty now? Right squirt? Yeah, right squirt. Okay. That's looking good. Maybe we'll do a little bush over here too. A little, 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 little bush over here. Okay. So, that's a pretty good start on far away things. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh man, that's that's your new saying, huh, Squirt? Oh man, that's one of his favorite things these days. Let's see, I have a new Twiggy. I love them when they're new. Look how perfect that is. I'm going to thin down some of that light lavender. I'm going to use thinner. That's Squirt. And I'm going to thin myself down a little puddle. What, what are you doing? And run my brush through it, get a nice little, a nice load of paint, and we'll we'll add some right, twiggies to this, right square. Yes. What are you doing? Oh, now you're gonna chit chat? Oh my God! I'll have to man. pay him. Oh man! I have to put you on the payroll. Oh man! Oh yeah. So my little faraway right, trees have these little right, downies so on them. These are fun to do. This is what goes on in my studio. I, I try to teach and he starts talking. Upstages me. Huh? Upstages me. I can't get a word in edgewise then. Edgewise or frontwise. Yeah, so, I'm going to play with these trees a little bit. Squirt. Somebody have to tell me when to stop. Squirt. Squirt, tell me when to stop. Hmm? Are you a good boy? Furball. Furball. That's what he calls my little puppy. Furball. That's not nice. Call my little dog Furball. Okay, so furball. we'll throw some more twiggies in there. You're gonna have you'll have fun doing these at home. Cause you can take your time. You don't have to just throw them in so fast. That's you can take your time and do real nice ones. And this is just the light lavender. We want to stay light right now. A little far away. Gee, I just want to stop doing that. As long as I have the lavender on the brush, we'll maybe do a few of these guys coming up from down here. Well, you got puppies crying now. Is that your big thing? The puppies are crying. I do have oh, little, I have little Shih Tzu puppies. Yeah. They do cry. Yes, they do. Gracie catch a grin. Gracie's a little Shih Tzu mommy yeah. and she has little puppies. And Squirt makes fun of everything. Okay. Furball. What an irreverent. Oh, right, we got twigs on the tree and we got a few twigs coming down from below and we're probably all done with that. I better stop, huh? Let's see. I can see some huge giant trees in oh, here. Man. How should we put them in? I bet you a large fan brush would do it just fine. Let me take a large fan brush and go into some Van Dyke Brown. Straight Van Dyke Brown. Large fan brush. This is painting number 20. you got to remember that. Painting number 20. Because if you send me a, a self-addressed stamped envelope, here comes a giant tree, um, I will send you the directions to this painting. You know, the materials list and a step-by-step -step direction so that you can do this picture. And I will send those to you free. But you just have to write to me first. Okay, I'm, I just put this the fan brush on its side and and just drop that in. That's my one big tree. And maybe I will have over here another big tree. Maybe. Maybe. First we'll make this one not so big. And then maybe we'll make one next to it that is a little bigger. Well, you just put it in. You don't even have to worry about where it's going. That's just, just... There you go. They're in. They're done. They're fine. Yes, we'll keep them. We're going to highlight. We're going to highlight these trees. These trees are closer. And I've got a mixture <coughs> of, well, it's it's a lizard. It's a, it's a lizard and white. It's, it's pink. It's pink. And that's what I'm going to highlight the sides of these trees with. So I'll run a little... I got a little roll of paint on the knife. I have to clean the knife off. I got a little roll of paint on the knife. And I'll come up and just hit the side of the tree. That's my little white spot. Tapping works. Tapping works. Makes it look nice and bocky. You could just tap it on there. 
And I probably want some of that in the other trees too. This is like the light through the forest now. Let's see. The light through the forest. Light. You put if you play with light, you can get some wonderful effects. So always remember your highlights and your shadows. And play with light. We're gonna put some on this tree too. Excuse me, Squirt, for invading your side of the canvas. It's very, it's dangerous over here. Squirt gets me sometimes. Right, Squirt? Okay. But I'm not done over I'm coming back. I'm not done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I, I knew you'd get me. There we go. So we can tap that a little, put a little highlight on it, and then we might think about putting some twiggies on those trees. You know, before I put the twiggies on the trees, is I want to put a little highlight on this pine tree before I get away from it. Liquid white, titanium white, and alizarin. Pink. Pink. This is my pink picture. And I think I'll just give that little tree just, eh, just a little more. Oh, we'll do this one too, just a little. Oh, we might as well do this one too, too. Little though. That, that's the key word when it comes to highlighting. Okay? Less is more. Definitely. We should leave that. Oh, I'm running out of room to put running out of room to put brushes. You know that pink looks so good. You know what? Look here. If we ran a little pink right up this tree too. Ooh. That might be nice. Okay, and let's get some twigs on these big trees. Um, I thin down some Van Dyke Brown. I thin it down with Odalis Thinner. And I've got my nice new Twiggy brush. Twiggy brushes are wonderful when they behave. If they don't behave, if they're having a bad hair day, I don't know. I just give up on them and I, I go open a package and get a brand new one. Because <laughs> I can't, I just, I just can't fight with a Twiggy brush that's not going to behave. So these are darker now. These are darker darker twiggies you got to think dark and they could even be thick they could even be thicker than before because these trees are up front so I might maybe cross over on that one do, 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 do. so have you got have you been painting yet you got to let me know you know how are things working out we set up a little spot in the house yet, so you can just uh, have room to do this. And you wait till all the kids either go to school or leave for college. And then you'll have some peace, and then you can do your own thing. I like that. And, and of course, I solved the problem of kids coming back. Once they leave, you know how they leave and they keep coming back home again? Well, when mine went off to college, I just rented their room. When they came home, they had to sleep on the couch, so they didn't stay home too much. And they went right back, right back. So, and, and I also stopped feeding them, right, Squirt? You know, kids will never leave as long as you're feeding them. We had to put a lock on the refrigerator. Only kidding, only kidding. Okay, so I'm having a wonderful time with these twiggies. I better stop. I'm going to put a few more on this guy. This guy might have a big one right there. Ooh. I guess you got to get brave. Huh? Whoa, whoa. And maybe it goes this way. Maybe it goes that way. Maybe it goes this way. You notice, I'm not worried about being perfect. Perfect, I'm not worried about that. Well, let other folks worry about that. You just put them on there. They're going to look just fine. You just get them on there. If you, if you go to an art gallery, or go to an art gallery, and you stand back and you look at the picture and you'd say, wow, that looks lovely, they really do. And then what I want you to do is get way up close, put your nose in front of the picture, and really look at it. And you'll see that perfect had nothing to do with it. You know? Let's see. And then as long as I always like to, might as well, a little bit of this. Okay, well, somebody better stop me. I'll never stop. Okay, okay, definitely stop that. So we need some bushes under those trees. You knew that was going to happen. I'm going to go into my dark lavender. That's the lavender that has no white in it. 
and I'll, I'll use that dark lavender for my next little row of bushes and it's going to be right there and it's called planting the tree right we gotta have that tree on something okay it's on something now yeah it's on something now and maybe we'll put this down here so this is my oval top brush my favorite little brush for making bushes I know I use it all the time can't help it you get something that works boy you grow to love it I like I like brushes that do the job that means less work for me if the brush already does the job this is my little one inch I used to tap in my trees before and I'm just tapping I'm just uh, going to tap this little paint in here a little bit you know me, mist. Mist is good. Love that mist. This picture is, is a deep woods picture, and it does have mist. Love that mist. Okay, got that done. Probably need a little dry. I'm going to smooth out the bottom here. So smooth out this bottom. I know it looks like water, but it's not going to be water. It's really... It's really just a kind of a little path through the woods with lots of mist rising. That's what we're doing. Okay. Okay. Well, I am going to highlight those little bushes. But you know, before I do that, why don't I just move on down and put some more in. I've got some more dark stuff mixed up. It's, it's really lavender with a little sap green in it and a little Van Dyke brown in it. So... Uh, if we did more bushes, it would, they would get a little darker. See, so now we're in a, now we're in a, getting a little darker. And we can bring this little guy over to, maybe there, maybe. Oh, there's a little phalo green in here too. That's that's what's giving it that, that real greeny look. And over here, maybe, well, right there anyway. Right, Squirt? Are you done talking to me now? That was it. I got a little bit of talking, and now it's all over. Leave that over there. Leave this over here. Now, I'm going to wipe a little paint off this brush. It's kind of get, getting loaded. But we're going to do more tapping in at the bottom. Just at the bottom. Just tap in. Just tap in. So, painting number 20. This one you can do. This this one couldn't be, could not be any easier to do. And it comes out so so nice. Just wipe that excess paint off there. Give yourself a little tappy, 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 tappy. And then I'm going to use the cleaner brush, though, to do to flatten out the bottom. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. And we'll do this one. Flatten out the bottom. It's kind of like deep woods with this little fog settling on everything. Now I know that I'm going to put some more bushes in the corner so I, I might as well right now just do this and it'll be all done and we won't have to come back down there. We can do other things. Look at this brush. This brush just makes the bush all by itself. Bush all done. We'll come in and highlight them. And, and over there too. I'll make this one a little bigger. Maybe, oh, down to, maybe, maybe to there. So you just make it up. Put them where you want. I'll bang in the bottom of this one. Just a little bit. Hi, right, Squirt. Oh, it's definitely your nap time now. Squirt's starting to snooze out. And then drag the bottom nice and flat. Just in case anybody wants to walk in there. Okay, we'll leave this one. Okay. Well, we can think about highlighting. We can think about highlighting. Um, I could use this. I might use the same oval brush. It's got it's got this dark color on it, and I I'm running it through the dark lavender too. I'm just gonna load it. Load it to kind of a chiseled point somewhat. I'm thinking of putting some foliage on these trees. Now this is really a bravery test I guess. If you take this brush, lay it on its side and just kind of tap into the canvas. 
you'll get the look of a little pine tree. And I'll just go for the other side, the other side, a little bit of that on the other side. A little more paint on there. And I'm just, just touching the canvas with the side of the brush. See, the brush does all the work. That's, that's my kind of, my kind of painting. Get the brush to do all the work. Never too, uh, never much I'm working too hard. That's what my children said. Ma, what are you going to do when we grow up and leave the house? Who's going to do all the farm chores for you? But I didn't even skip a beat. Just about the time all the kids moved out, I just got married. And got all my farm chores done anyway. Okay, okay. Let's see. That's what to do. Now somebody has to make me stop. See, I can't don't know when to get myself off it but I'll call that oh let's highlight these little guys okay I'm gonna um, liquid white and pink liquid white and th the pink was alizarin and titanium white a little liquid white and let's just put a little oh well, that's nice like little flowers in the woods oh I love this this is like fairyland just quickly get those now I could see some little twiggy trees and things in here I might not have time to do, but you will. You will. Some little, little trees made with your twiggy brush. Let's see, we might put them over there. We might go over here. Couldn't be any easier. Might come into a little darker pink and give that a little zinger right there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This, is, this is fun with color. <laughs> Lavender and pink. Gee, that's looking good. That's looking cute. I might call that done. Well, I, I should call that done long before I get in trouble. Long before I get in trouble, I should say that's done. And that's easy, quick. What a, what a nice little picture this is. And I know you can do it. You just, you know, you put your trees wherever you want. It doesn't matter where they go. But it's so pretty. So, Squirt, you going to say goodbye? Maybe, maybe not. But bye-bye now, and I'll be back, and we're going to paint again, so... Keep looking for me. Bye-bye. Happy painting.